And now the history of Cointreau uh, started with the passion of two men, with the passion of two brothers, and one of those was my great, great, great grandfather. And uh, after we wanted to create something uh, completely new, completely something new, completely uh, unique. And in the 19th century in Europe, the orange, the fruit was really rare. For example, an orange was a gift we gave for Christmas. That's why we had the idea to create an orange liqueur with bitter and sweet orange peel. And after 10 years of research, we perfected Cointreau, the perfect and well-balanced uh, orange uh, liqueur. Hello, you have two major things who make Cointreau uh, so famous. First is the recipe and the bottle, the iconic brown and square bottle that is really unique, but also the recipe that never changed since the creation, that is something. But also uh, my great, great grandfather, Edouard Cointreau, the creator of Cointreau, was really good to promote this uh, new recipe. Uh, in the 19th century, uh, you have to remember that women have a very small place in the society, no official job, no right to vote or things like that. And also in this time, uh, mostly just men drink alcoholic beverage like whiskey or cognac at 40 degrees, very high uh, alcohol uh, strength, alcohol uh, percentage. But Edouard Cointreau, my great-great-grandfather, wanted to be the first to create uh, an alcoholic beverage at 40 degrees, like the main uh, beverage, but for women first. That's why he created an orange liqueur with unique flavors, a uh, very smooth for a delicate uh, palette, a uh, feminine palette, and he was really the first to create alcoholic beverage for women, but also uh, through this, uh, this new recipe, he wanted to put on the same level man and woman. For a lot of families, the heart of the house, of the house, it could be the living room or the or the kitchen. Uh, in our house, in the Cointreau house, the heart of the house is the bar. Uh, we have the chance to have a bar in our home, and uh, it's one of the most uh, tiny uh, room of the house. But we are always all concentrate in this room, and we create always a lot of a lot of cocktail. We tell always a lot of funny story, and a lot of things happen uh, in this bar. Now, when I, uh, I made my first cocktail, I was around seven or eight years old. I was with my grandmother in the bar, and she told me, okay, show me how to drink, how to mix. And I pour first Cointreau in my shaker, very well, but after I switch the tequila with a mezcal, it's a big mistake, I put the lime and I close my shaker. I started to check, and my grandmother told me, what are you doing, Alfred? I said, I'm checking my cocktail. And she told me, you forgot to put the ice cube inside your cocktail, in, inside your shaker. A big mistake, a, a real nightmare to be honest, but she touched me a lot and now I'm a little bit better to making cocktails. <laughs>